Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Salad Lyonnaise. That's right, this amazing salad hails from Lyon, France and features delicious frisée lettuce topped with a mustard vinaigrette, fried bacon, and a poached egg. And how incredibly delicious is this salad? You could actually order this as your last meal on death row and people would not laugh. In fact, the warden would be like, sell Lyonnaise? That's a great call. So step one, we're gonna prep our lettuce. And as I said, we're using something called frisé, which by the way, reminds me, all these years you've been pronouncing frizzy incorrectly. All right, so I have two heads here. That's gonna be enough for about four normal salads or two gigantic salads. And this stuff is super simple to prep. You're gonna see it's all held together at the base there. We're simply gonna take a knife and take off the bottom half inch from that root end. And then we'll make two like one inch cuts. The lettuce near the bottom is a little tougher. And then we can leave all those frizzy tops just like that. Oh, I'm sorry, all those frisé tops just like that. And we'll do that to the other one, cut off the root end, make two slices. Okay, so that looks good. And then of course we're gonna have to wash that very well. Frisé has a proven track record for trapping sand. So I'm gonna give that a really thorough washing in cold water. I'm gonna fill it all the way up, whoosh it around a little. And once that is thoroughly washed and drained, we have to dry it and dry it very, very thoroughly. Nothing ruins a salad like wet lettuce. So we need to dry this thoroughly and you can use any force you want. But my favorite is centrifugal force. So that's why I like these salad spinners. All right, you pump the top, all the water spins out and you have perfectly dry lettuce. And if you're thinking that looks great, but I don't have time for one of those to stop spinning. I got things to do. Don't worry, they come with a little finger break. So you're gonna push on that. <coughs> And at that point, we have some beautifully dried lettuce, and I'm simply gonna keep that in the fridge until ready to use. So we'll put that aside and it's on to the dressing. So you're gonna wanna make a ring with a wet kitchen towel, all right, just like that. You're gonna put your stainless steel mixing bowl on top. That's gonna keep it very steady. You are going to add some finely minced shallots. And yes, you have to go to the store and buy shallots. They're right next to the onions and garlic. To the shallots, we're gonna add some Dijon mustard, and if you don't have any, all you have to do is drive around town looking for Rolls Royces, because people in those usually do carry some around with them. Let's also go ahead and season this up with some black pepper and a pinch of salt. It's a big time rookie mistake not seasoning your dressing. And then we're gonna add our vinegar, which I'm using sherry vinegar. That's my favorite for this dressing. You can certainly use any kind of wine vinegar for this, would be fantastic. And then we'll give it a good mixing with the whisk. And at this point, we're ready to introduce our olive oil. And unlike most of the salad dressings we do on this channel, we are making a true emulsification, not a temporary one. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna start whisking, but you're only gonna drip in a little bit of oil at a time when you start. And once you have the first couple tablespoons in like that, then you can add it a little quicker, but still you're not pouring it in, right? You're just drizzling it in slowly in a nice steady but slow stream. And you'll see if you add that oil slowly enough, whisking the entire time, it will start to thicken up. And that's how you know you have a perfect emulsification. And the thicker it gets, the quicker you can add the oil. So at the end here, you'll see me adding it a little quicker. And unlike those other temporary emulsification dressings we've made, by just whisking everything together in a bowl or by shaking it in a jar, this one won't separate for quite a while. So anyway, there you go, your classic culinary school version of the infamous shallot and mustard vinaigrette. If you've eaten a green salad in a bistro, whether it was in France or somewhere else, and you weren't exactly sure what dressing they used, it was probably something very, very close to this. All right, so our dressing's ready. We're gonna set that aside and it's on to the bacon. So I have a few slices of some beautiful extra thick bacon that I'm gonna cut in like half inch slices. Over there where this salad was invented, they probably would refer to those as lardons. I know, it's true. They have a different word for everything. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice that up and we're gonna fry that crisp in a pan. So I'm just gonna throw that in a cold pan, put it over medium heat and simply cook it till crisp. All right, you do not want flabby bacon for this salad. You wanna make sure most of the fat's rendered out, which not only gives you a better texture, but you're eating less fat. All right, so everybody wins. And of course, that's gonna take a few minutes. So while you're doing that, what you can also do is set up your simmering water for your poached egg. So I'm gonna bring some water up to a simmer with a little bit of salt and a little bit of vinegar. And of course, you're also gonna to wanna to transfer some washed and drained and chilled frisé into a mixing bowl. I'm just gonna do one big portion here. So that's ready. And by now, our bacon should be just about perfect, which it is. And I think we're ready to finish this salad. So we're gonna take a big spoon of the bacon. We're not gonna drain it, but we're not not gonna drain it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna tilt the spoon and let most of the fat run off, but there still will be just enough of that gorgeous bacon fat attached. So we're gonna to toss that into the mixing bowl. Man, that looks good. Along with a generous amount of our mustard shallot vinaigrette. 
And of course, since we already seasoned our dressing with salt and pepper, I don't need to add any here. And then we'll give that a toss, make sure it's thoroughly, thoroughly coated, at which time you're going to transfer to a salad plate or shallow bowl. And I do suggest setting this up before you poach your egg, because that's only going to take a couple minutes. And when the egg's done, it's got to go right onto the salad. So we're going to set up our salad, and then we're going to drop our egg into the simmering water. And we've done multiple poached egg demos. But real briefly, I just crack it in. I don't touch it for about 20, 30 seconds. But after about half a minute, I do like to give it a little nudge with the spoon to just make sure it's not stuck to the bottom. I just kind of make a little wave with the spoon, which kind of pushes the egg across the bottom. And like I said, it's only going to take a few minutes. And what you're looking for is a set white and a very, very runny yolk, which is what I have right there. I'm going to drain it well. Do not put water on your salad. And then when we put it on the salad, always, always flip it upside down. All right, the underside of a poached egg is always going to have this perfect, smooth surface. And then we're almost there. I'm going to give it a little touch of cayenne, a little touch of sea salt, a little bit of fresh chive. And then, of course, absolutely required, make sure you make some crostini or have some croutons ready for this. Eating this without crunchy croutons or really crispy crostini is just not acceptable, okay? And that salad lyonnaise is done. I mean, that is just an incredible salad. And then it's time for what I think we've all been waiting for. I hope you're sitting down. We are going to fork that egg right in the yolk. It's going to pop. And what would already be an epic salad with that frisee, that mustard vinaigrette, that crispy bacon, those crunchy crostini, then gets the magical goodness that is a poached egg. That rich hot yolk will flow into the salad. It mixes with that vinaigrette. It's just truly unbelievable. And I know, you're like, how can he possibly be that excited over a salad? Well, unless you try this for yourself, it's really not going to make sense. But as soon as you do, you will realize that I'm actually being fairly restrained. And yes, that piece of bacon's bugging me too. There we go. Inside, I'm actually more excited than I'm sounding. All right, so I really do hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy! Enjoy!